what's up team? I'm here to talk about a little thing I like to call spontaneous strength um, and explain what that is a little bit. I know a lot of people won't agree with it, uh, but if you do disagree, you can disagree respectfully. So, so just a little background, um, where I kind of came up with the idea is my first strongman show. The opening event was, uh, was either seven or 720 pound yoke, and that's fine. But um, I trained in a way where I would warm up with an empty yoke and then add 100 pounds each set to get up to my max. But at the first show, the only thing to warm up on was an empty axle and some resistance bands. So nothing to warm up on. And so I went out there and I got under the yoke and I was just crushed. Like crushed by the competition and literally crushed. Like I felt like Gimli when I was done. So <clears throat> I started to get the idea that maybe if there are shows in the future where there's not a lot of things to warm up on, I should probably start training in a way where I don't need to warm up a lot. <clears throat> so it's kind of a combination of wanting to get stronger without needing to spend 30 or 40 minutes warming up combined with the fact that I hate loading and unloading equipment. So I'd like to just get to my max in two to three sets. <laughs> um, so when I train, I try to train in a way that doesn't involve um, a 10 minute um, cardio routine plus 20 to 30 minutes of rolling and stretching and then another 10 to 20 minutes of warm up sets to get to my working weight for whatever that is for the day. Um, so when I train, I typically, when I do strength training, I've been doing a lot of machines right now, just taking a little back seat with my own training and focusing on coaching for this year. Um, when I drive to the gym for strength training, I'll typically, I'll typically drive with my seat warmer on to warm up my lumbar <laughs> and I might put on elbow sleeves while I drive. Um, and that is my warm up. Literally I'm getting warm and that's it. Um, I did it a couple weeks ago. Uh, I walked in the gym, Matt had 515 on the bar. I put my backpack down, pulled it. Um, and then he put 605 on the bar for himself and then I pulled that. So I did two reps that day, 20 pounds under my max, um, no warm up, no pain, no soreness the next day. I felt like I didn't do anything. So when I train, I try to train um, getting to my working weight in about three or four sets. Now part of the reason I can do that is I think I have zero fast twitch muscles. like. Like I have zero fast twitch muscles. I can't stress that enough. I'm not explosive. I'm not fast, but I can really grind through anything. Um, if I can just get it off the ground a little bit and I don't need a lot of warm up. So I don't really advocate training that way. If, um, you are someone that needs a lot of warm up, however, you probably need a lot of warm up because you always spend a lot of time warming up. And the people I found that spend a lot of time warming up, um, don't ever get too strong. There are some Olympic lifters I know that need a lot of time warming up. The movements are a lot more complex, but typically the people that I spend or that I see spending 20, 30 minutes warming up, mobility, wrapping with the, the new woo woo, uh, resistance bands, whatever those are, they're good for some things, but come on, come on, let's be real. <laughs> um, and then 20, 30 minutes of uh, rolling out their legs and quads and getting into crazy positions. And then they get to their workout and they spend another 10 to 20 minutes on warm up weights. Well, what if you do a competition where there's nothing to warm up on? What is your plan then? Do you have one? Are you going to get crushed like I did at my first one? Maybe. Um, so if you are someone that wants to get into something like strongman, I've done a few shows where there's warm up weights, but typically there's really not a lot to warm up on. I brought my own dumbbells before. Um, I brought my own circus dumbbell once as well. So if you are in a sport that maybe requires you to get strong real quick, um, without a warm up area or lots of time and equipment to warm up on between events, you may want to start training in a way that will allow you to get strong, get to your working weight without needing uh, a warm-up routine that's longer than some of my own workouts. Again, 
I don't really advocate training this way if you aren't used to it. You can kind of ease into it a little bit, but uh, there are some people that will be better at it than others. I personally, I love not taking forever to warm up. It's a point of pride for me. I know people get mad at me about it, but I feel good. Do you feel good? If not, maybe what you're doing is incorrect. So, uh, spontaneous strength is basically being able to look at something and pick it up. You know, that's what I love about Strongman is, um, can you do it or can you not? And I think it kind of suits me because, yeah, there's technique. Well, there's absolutely technique. Just ask Alana. She helped me with a lot of that when I was working with her. But at the same time, there aren't rules about pressing out or hitting depth. It's can you do it or can you not? Can you take it from ground to overhead or not? So if you want to be able to just walk up to a weight and lift it with no warm up, you may want to start trying to train in a way that doesn't need, I don't know how many times I can say that again, but uh, how many times you can train without needing a super long specific warm up. Because the more you depend on it, the more you can't do anything without it. So for most of you, there'll probably be a nice middle ground between still warming up and, um, and not warming up at all. Now, caveat to that is I do do some stretching at home. I do a lot of frog stretching. Um, couch stretches are my, my main source of stretching for my legs and my hips. And um, I mean, I, I stretch with my clients and stuff. But other than that, um, I really don't warm up at all. Ask people I train with. They'll tell you with a roll of their eyes that I don't. <laughs> yeah. um, anyway, in closing, um, maybe start training in a way that will allow you to get strong, um, you know, right off the bat. So let me know how it goes. And uh, if you disagree, make some valid points of your own. Bye.